Okay, guys, I'm here today with Amy Campo and Eduardo Mori. Huge honor for me. Guys, Amy is the 2022 ADCC champion uh, in a very, very, like, nice way because it was pretty much, like, you had, like, less than one year as a black belt. Yes. And you train in one jiu-jitsu school in Utah that's not, like, the, the Atos HQ or you train on kind of, like, on a small school and uh, with Eduardo from... Day one to ADCC champion, and the, I, I just mentioned this because I, ex, I, I expect how many girls probably train on small schools around the world, and that's the dream to win the world championship, to win the ADCC, and you made it, so uh, that's incredible. But anyways, guys, uh, today Amy is gonna show us here uh, a little overview of the her knee slice, and she just shot an entire instruction about the knee slice. And uh, I already shared a lot with her about the news lies here, and she showed me everything she does, and it's fascinating. So let's do this, Amy. Okay. Um, so uh, let's start with this. I have a couple different, very just, um, just gonna lightly touch on everything. So there's two positions that I like to enter knee slice from. If they're standing up, I kind of like to do this little drive and just shoot in, like almost like a takedown or a wrestling shot for a knee slice, so I'm gonna step right in with this instep. I hit with my shoulder, I scoop for my underhook, beating this knee. Then I keep my head low, I either keep it here, keep it here, or keep it here, depending. We're gonna go with the first one. So I keep it here, keep this up, I'm gonna pull this arm up, I'm gonna slide out, pointing my toes, okay? And I push into him, move my hips close, and I can come up, I can come up into a couple different positions. I could come up here, I could come up to the knee on belly. I could come right back up to the leg drag for a knee slice or fully into a leg drag. A couple different options. Now, so, uh, so, Amy, so this is the driving entry, right? On your system, you call this the driving one, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yep, this is the driving one. Just like a little wrestling shot. So, one more time, quick overview for you. I'm sliding right in. This is balancing for me, and I slide out. We have a couple different options for positions. I'm just going to go here now. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. another one I like to try is if they're already on their back like this, or if I anticipate that anytime I step in, he's going to go on his back. So that would look like anytime I, I want to step in, he immediately goes on his back. And you know, they're, they're always playing with that leg. So my next entry is like a little jump, a jump knee slice. Okay. So I try to step in and I step in with my hand and my hip. Hand on the knee, hand on the hip right here. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna go get in. I'm gonna close this a little bit. Ready, one, two, three. Boom, got it. A jumping yeah. knee slice, and I'll tell you more details on that later. But I'm here, and I'm sitting on his hip pretty heavy. I don't have tons of momentum going forward. This one is more of stunting his hips. And then I can find my way down to this one. Or if he's too small, maybe I grab his arm, maybe I go under hook. In some cases, I can't get my head under, so I just lean over his shoulder to flatten him out, and I slide out. Good. Anyway, so everything starts with the entry, and you have two options there. You have the driving, and you have the jumping. And then below that, it's pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you you have yep. two different entries, and then the way to pass, it's the same for both. Yes, pretty much okay. the same. There's a couple details that'll vary depending on how he's moving. But yeah, pretty much, once I get in, once I get to this point, once I get to right here, okay. it's pretty much all the same. Okay. okay, your head's low, you have an underhook, you're fighting some way, you free your leg. And I'm gonna show a bunch of details on that. But that's that's just the basic, there's two entries, and I'm gonna go over more on the passing and what happens if you get your foot stuck. In. I got it. And then, uh, no, I love how like for passing, you have different ways to do it. No, two, not the passing, to approach. Then for the passing, you have all those details. And then for establishing, there is like the leg under the back, the leg drag. The, mm -hmm. So you have a whole system about every step of the passing. I, I think this is what probably makes the position so successful. Yeah, because no matter what response you give, I have a response for you. No, I, I, I love it. And the, this became like your main move pretty much when you were on top, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. No, and I love the story that you were saying that uh, this just started. You you had like a lot of passings that you would do, and then you started doing this one in the ADCC trials, correct? 
Yeah, I would start doing like the jump and the drive. Like I would, I would try just entering the knee slice, just like normal in any other competition. But it wasn't until the last year that I started to find these like really explosive entries where I jump in and beat his timing so that I can get in. Because you know they're gonna defend, they're gonna put their knee in the way, and it's just a pain. They're gonna pummel with their foot, and so I, I discovered these two entrances to help really get me into the pass. Um, that's been like a huge success for me. And I, I started them in a competition. I didn't, I didn't think of it and develop it at the gym. I was just like, I need to make something work. And that's what I found. And it still is working. I got it. Oh yeah. And the, and the, yeah, no, it's a, it's, and especially for no gi, because for example, we were talking about that earlier. Like anytime I think about the knees lice, I'm always thinking about the collar and this. Oh, that's so yeah. helpful. But there's none of that. Like, and then no gi, you, there's you, nothing. Yeah. No, oh, that's incredible. Yeah, so guys, Amy just showed an entire instruction all about knee slice for no gi. And uh, it's coming out really, really cool. And as you can see, like she has the whole system about how to approach it, how to pass, how to establish. Then if they turn on the knee, she goes to the back. And that's what she's doing on, on no gi. And, and she just won the ADCC. And you, we talked about that, but you had less than one year as a black belt, which is crazy impressive. And you were kind of the underdog in the tournament as well, right? Like, so. and the uh, and you and your bracket was Elizabeth Clay first match, Gabi Garcia second match, and Rafael Guedes the final, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, that's that's incredible. Yeah, so guys, make sure to check it out. It's gonna be at bjjfanatics.com very soon, and uh, maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you, Andy. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Eduardo. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under See More Videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.